And this is one of those poems where the, um, the title bleeds into the first line. And while I was in Lesotho, which was um, from 92 until 95, 90% of the adult male population worked in the mines in South Africa. Um, so it was very much a part of everybody's culture. For the men, obviously, but for the villages and the families they left behind who lived most of their lives without them. So the miners came home maybe one weekend a month, um, one week out of every several months. Um, so in this poem, I'm just imagining this world um, in a prettier way, for sure, than reality, um, but imagining this world um, from the woman's perspective. So, the miner's wife sees dark crescent moons in a sky of light, the dirt forever curving under his fingernails. When he goes below the earth unnaturally, farther than he could go alone, farther than he would go for himself, her own gravity threatens to tear loose. At the store, she might rise and bump the shelves of flour and sugar, making them shudder and sift themselves down. Dreams her husband in a jar she can see into, though no light passes through or reaches his night inside it. He works the black with bare hands, becoming darker and darker, and she shakes the jar to make him reappear.